Hello friends. Uh, in our previous class, we have learned about we have started invasive breast carcinomas, and in that we have been, we have dealt with infiltrating duct carcinoma, not otherwise specified. So right now we will deal with infiltrative infiltrating that is invasive here lobular carcinoma. This accounts to only 5% of all the carcinomas. So here we basically see uh, this is this differs from invasive carcinoma because it is more frequently it is dilated. Sorry, it is bilateral. <laughs> right? And within the same breast. It may have, it may be multicentric, multicentric within the same breast, right? Coming to the morphological features, here uh, the tumor varies. Uh, it uh, it it is it has a wide range, so it varies from. Uh, well defined serous mass to poorly defined area of induration. See, well defined serous mass is really very well, you can see it, you can feel it, you can palpate it. But poorly defined area of induration, it is undetected, both on inspection and palpation. Right? So, histologically speaking, there are two distinct patterns here. So, basically, if you go to the histology, there are two different distinct patterns. One is uh, two distinct features. One is about pattern. See, a single characteristic linear arrangement of tumor cells are clearly seen. Like the tumor cells are like single and they are characteristic and linear arrangement. And this is called as Indian file. Just like a file which you, which we all use during our, for many purposes, it looks like an Indian, like a file. Right? This is one pattern of tumor cell arrangement. And uh, these infiltrating cells, some of these infiltrating cells are also arranged like a concentrated, concentrically arranged duct like pattern. They are even arranged concentrically around ducts. See, this is, see, see just, see, just imagine this is one duct, they are even. Uh, arranged uh, around the ducts, right? The two concentrically. So there are two patterns mm -hmm. basically. There are two different features. Among the two different features, one is the pattern thing. The pattern, it may be linear or it may surround a duct. Or uh, if you come to the second feature, which is tumor cytology. Here the tumor cells sometimes resemble lobular carcinoma because the tumor cells are round. If you see the tumor cells are round with little pleomorphism. See they are round you can see. And there is very little pleomorphism which is seen. And in the mitosis are, see seeing mitosis is really infrequent. And some tumor cells may show signet ring cells uh, with cytoplasmic mucin. So signet ring cells somewhat look like this and in the cells there is mucin, right? And there is also other pattern with uh, uh, tube, I mean tumor cells which are like nests. So till now if you see the features uh, and there is a fibrous stroma. Right, there is stroma which is present here. 
in between these tumor cells. So, right now what are the features of infiltrating lobular carcinoma? Right? Uh, if you come to the features of infiltrating lobular carcinoma, the first future feature is presence of tumor cells in single file that is Indian file or linear arrangement. Right? In stroma. So this is all this may also be named as stromal infiltration of tumors, right? So tumors may infiltrate the tumor, so stroma. Next, the second pattern is concentrical arrangement of tumors arrangement of tumors around the duct this is a duct so the nuclei right around the duct this is the second arrangement and how are tumor cells seen the tumor cells are round regular with little pleomorphism And infrequent mitosis. And sometimes these tumor cells, sometimes or rarely, they show signet ring cells with cytoplasmic mucin. Due to this cytoplasmic mucin, the nucleus of the cells is pushed around. I mean push to the periphery. So this pushing of nucleus to the periphery due to the cytoplasmic mucin which is present in uh, mm. inside uh, results in the presence of uh, results in the signet ring shaped cells. Uh, now we today in this in this class we end up with this infiltrative lobular carcinoma in which we dealt about the morphology and we have drawn about the histological one of the histological features. So tomorrow in, the, in our next class we will deal about the other forms of the carcinoma which are seen um, in the breast carcinoma. Okay then bye. Don't forget to comment.